Thanks for joining us, Zach. First, can you just explain a bit about what you're doing today with the club? Yeah, it's good to be here in a uh, community camp down in Port Campbell. Nice part of the world. Obviously, growing up 15 minutes from here is uh, it's pretty special to me to bring the whole footy club down here and uh, get the boys to immerse themselves in the, in the culture down here and, and give back to a lot of kids who uh, look up to us as uh, athletes. Did you expect quite a turnout like today? Uh, I was hopeful and I was uh, yeah, very pleased to see a lot of Essendon jumpers turn up and uh, obviously great to see a lot of number sevens as well. But yeah, to know uh, most of the kids is a special feeling to see them run around and come and get a high five. And how good is it that the club and the AFL are now recognising the contribution that country has made to the game? Yeah, absolutely. Growing up in the country, you obviously watch all your role models on TV and um, you dream of being there one day. So to see the kids now down here, it's, it's super important to give back to them and see them hopefully dream of bigger and better things as well. I mean, to have, I think, five or six AFL players from down here in particular is, is super important. And the way that the, uh, the Mayor spoke before about the, the way that gives them hopes and dreams to get there one day is, uh, I think, super important for them. Obviously you had a really good win, how satisfying was that and, and does that give you a really good confidence boost heading into the season? It's always good to win, I mean JLT is obviously a, a bit of a different feel but it's always nice to win and, and to walk off the field with uh, I guess no points but a feeling of four points so, so I think Chong's a super team and to beat them uh, at pretty well full strength was uh, I think a pretty good effort. Obviously Marty unfortunately went down with a bad injury, um, what, what was your opinion of that and, and did the rest of the team get through okay? It's disappointing that Marty, uh, I think, rolled his ankle pretty poorly. So, um, yeah, I think all the boys were pretty supportive straight away after the game got around him. But he's obviously in for a, a long stint in rehab and hopefully he heals really quickly and surgery goes well and he can be back on the field in no time because he's been, he's been super all pre-season and, and starting to be a real co uh, main member of that back line. As you said before, Geelong was obviously a strong side. You've you faced Richmond as well. You've now got Adelaide in a couple of weeks. Is it good to get those, those strong challenges early on? Yeah, I think it was great that... Uh, stripping back to two JLTs, I, mean, I think most teams put in their best team every week and to play Richmond at full strength round one and, and Geelong pretty much at full strength as well was a great test for us and something I think we'll, we'll learn from into round one, hopefully gives us a lot of positives to work on and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to next Friday night. Great, thanks for joining us. Thanks mate, cheers.